I accused Day of the Locust. Day of the Locust doesn't sound good at all. Pretty sure Day of the Locust is one of the original 10 plagues of Egypt. Uh, it's not a good day. Uh, and the name of the band is Accused with a V. So that means they're very sharp about it. All right. Um, everyone's talking about it. It's the brand new uh, artist that just got signed to uh, a rising empire. So I'm interested. Uh, here we go. Uh, first time I've reacted to this band under uh, a rising empire. Um, I think we've reacted to Accused before on our up and coming stream on Twitch from my uh, community. Offered it up and I enjoyed it. So um, let's go. Here we go. I'm not going to make you wait. Three minutes, 18 seconds. Accused. Dave the Locust. <laughs> Ooh. All right, um, not exactly metal, but it's not exactly not metal. Um, uh, what people are going to catch from this is they're not sure what the hell's going on, and there's a reason why. It's if Red Hot Chili Peppers got really, really, really heavy on the guitars, got away from the popish SoCal sounds, went kind of a funk, punk vibe, low-end bass, very thumpy, very chunky. At the same time, very funky groove with the drum section. So the rhythm section is extremely funky, extremely groovy, very low end heavy weightness to it. At the same time, it's got that rested, segmented guitar trap feel. So it adds a lot of downbeat weight. So when you see bands that do breakdowns where they add emphasis on the downbeats or certain counts to add weight to the emphasis of the song, what if they did that the whole damn time. Red Hot Chili Peppers did that for their entire career because Flea and Chad um, did so much on the low-end funky rhythm section that it allowed the rest of the band to kind of flow around and give that kind of funky feel that really worked for Red Hot Chili Peppers in kind of that rock indie pop vibe. When you go heavy with it, if you do it right, you get this. All the creative funk and the off count and the stuff that gives you that vibe is there. It's very amped up. But because it's so focused on the count and the way it's delivered, the weight of it is similar to a breakdown in any other form of metal. So the part that everyone looks forward to so they can jam out and headbang and freak out about on a regular metal song, this band's starting with it and I don't think they're gonna stop. I'm in. Let's go. Gee, I don't know why a rising empire would sign them. I don't, I don't have a reason. I, don't, I mean, I don't know what they're doing that would make a record label want to sign them and, and uh, make sure they're, you know, promote their music. <laughs> Gee, I can guarantee you it ain't the baseball caps. Holy crap, it's so good. I'm in. I really like this. It's so good. Also, it less with more. Lots of snare in the mix. Lots of kick, but not a lot of diffused percussion noise. 
not a lot of splashy symbols, just filling in space in the rhythm. Um, the bass line is so on the strike, so on the hit, it doesn't, it doesn't leave any sustained notes. So everything is so staccato that it adds such a sharp punch. It literally is the rhythm section throwing jabs at you constantly, leaving you open for the body blows of the vocals and the guitars. They're literally setting you up for a knockout right now from a musical standpoint. Really good. Okay, so Horacle is in my chat right now. You guys might know Horacle from many different streams on Twitch and on YouTube. Great supportive guy. Um, one thing that Horacle did say was that they re I really like how they go melodic for the chorus. And I think that's part of it. The only time they use any sustained notes melodically is when they're in that chorus. The rest of the time, they're just kicking you in the face with the golf shoe. And so it really gives you that dynamic of, we need you to watch this. Avoid this, Bob weaves, and then when you come to the chorus, you're like, you get pulled in. And then they kick you in the face again with a golf shoe. Musically, those are not terms you think of in music, but in the experience, it's very impactful. But at the same time, it's earnest. It makes you feel it. And that's outstanding. And it's a great song. Great first offering from this band on this label. A Rising Empire has done a good job signing this band. They are ready. They're ready for this. Good for them. Wow. What? Stop. Remember, we said the whole beginning of the song is like a breakdown for normal bands. So if you're this band, how do you do a breakdown if you already, if your entire song is similar to the half count or low end impactful style of a break of a breakdown of another band? How would you do a breakdown if that's your entire song? We just found out. Well, there you go. All right, I'm ending it right there. That is a label that made a very smart decision right there. <laughs> that, you know, it's, you know, a rising empire has got a lot of really good young up and coming metal artists that are super creative. There's a lot of amazing record labels out there. We, we all love them on this channel because so many of these labels are allowing young creative bands to just create whatever they want to create, see how far they can take it, find their own audience. Nothing is templated. Nothing says you have to do this because we're trying to do a formula to, for audience. No, 
artists make your music. You'll find your audience. It'll come. We're here to support you. A Rising Empire does that. A lot of amazing labels out there right now that are doing that. You know their names. I talk about them all the time. But this one, it's a Rising Empire's turn. And yes, they have done it again. My name is Old School Nerd. It's brand new. Accused. Day of the Locust. I don't know. Uh, I know uh, the plague of the locusts in Egypt is obviously a bad thing. It represents famine and pestilence and all this stuff. But at the same time, I got to be honest with you. Um, it's not exactly hurting this band. It's not a bad day for them. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. All of their information is in the description below. Please check that band out. If you love new bands that are coming out, being creative, you want to see more of them, the only way to do that is to support the band. That means follow their channels, like their music, download it on the different streamers. That's how you do it. If, whenever their album gets released, you got to pre-order it. You're going to wind up buying it anyway? Do it ahead of time. People don't realize that. I'm telling you now, when you pre-order albums or pre-save out albums, that's what tells a promoter, hey, this band needs to go on the road. That's what tells the record label, hey, we need to reinvest in this band with more videos because people are wanting more. That's how it works. The best way to show your support is to not just say, I like this band. You like the channel, you share the videos, you like the videos, you give them a thumbs up. But at the same time, you go into the description. They're not asking you to buy something. They're just saying, hey, pre-save the album on, on iTunes. It doesn't cost you anything. But that one little tick goes into the numbers that the people in offices places that decide whether bands go on the road, whether they get promoted in certain pushes and stuff. The business end of it say, hey, people are seeing and wanting more. We should react to it. That's your way of supporting bands these days. I'm telling you, it helps. I've spoken to these bands individually. They've said, man, when you tell people to pre-save on on." streaming platforms we can see the difference the label sees the difference the promoters see the difference and then they start supporting us and then the next thing you know we're in front of a whole bunch of people and it's a dream come true all of you do that not me not some guy sitting in a room behind a desk crunching numbers all of you determine whether these bands the opportunities they get it's the reaction of the fans how that happens it's amazing all right everybody Get out of here. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right over there. A big thank you to all my Patreons out there for everything you do. And if you want more content like this, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.